Okay, in uh, the last video I just barely made, I uh, went through connecting an Arduino board to MATLAB 2015A. Uh, now I'm just going to write a very simple script uh, showing how to read f uh, from the analog end. Uh, yeah, so I've, I've done this before, but the code has changed. So let's start with first, well, Notice that I do have an Arduino object still there, this A Arduino object. I don't want to try to connect to that Arduino board again. It'll give me an error if I go A equals Arduino board, comma 3 Uno. Um, so if I wanted to connect in the script I'm going to write, I'd first have to clear out the last Arduino object, and now I should be able to connect again. I'm going to do this in an M file. New script. I'm going to start just by clearing things out. Let's see, then I'm going to declare an Arduino object. Coin at A, COM port 3. I showed you how to find the COM port in the last video I did. Um, uh, an analog in pin that we'll read from. Let's read from analog in and it wants it as a string. A, we're going to read from pin 1. So let's read in a while loop and let's do it for a certain amount of time. Uh, so I'm going to start a stopwatch just with the command tick and let's say while talk which is the time since the command tick is less than, let's go 30 seconds. We will do this. Okay. Um, let's get a counter. I equals zero. And I is I plus one. <clears throat> okay, let's uh, declare a variable of time. Time I equals talk and let's read a voltage say voltage I make a vector of all the voltages that I read and it is read voltage now and I need to pass it the Arduino object and the pin pass it at AI and I'll log in let's call that pin just for clarity Change it up here too. So I've got time and a voltage. Um, let's plot it out. Figure one. Plot t comma v. Do it in red. Okay. So um, if I just press end here, it'll just run and read as quickly as it possibly can. Um, I want to slow it down just a bit, so I'm going to go pause. This should be in seconds, pause point one. Okay, so what the loop does, we start, um, increment our counter. First element in vector t time will be the time since I used the command tick, so talk, so it's going to fill up with different times. Every Time we record a time, we're going to record a voltage by reading the voltage. Um, so I'm going to run this. Oh. And log in example. Oh, doesn't read it. I forgot I'm using a red board, so I need to put in this Uno. Now it should work. Okay, so I'm reading from the board, but the board is, there's nothing connected to it, so it's just floating. Let me switch the camera over to take a look at the board. That's what it looks like right now. So there's nothing connected. So let's put together a little circuit that could be of some interest. Let's go from 5 volts. This first column, 
I'm going to go through a thermistor to another column of my breadboard. Uh, from that thermistor, I'm going to go with a static resistor. I think these are all like around 4 kilo ohms or something like that to ground. Then I'm going to go from that static resistor to ground. But I need something to read, so I'm going to go from between where the static resistor and the thermistor come together to analog in one, not zero. Um, just to show you what the circuit looks like, basically I drew something that looks like or this. Is ground. This is five volts, and this is my. Let's see. This one's my thermistor. RT, and this is just a static resistor. And then I took a line off of this. Took a line off of this and measured into my analog in one. Ah, ugly one, but anyway, you get the point. Okay, erased. Uh, back to here. So now when I run this, I'll get hopefully something that responds to temperature. So I'm heating it up with my finger and it's cooling back down to room temperature. So yeah, that seems to be working. I could replace that thermistor with a uh, photoresistor. Now I got something that's sensitive to light. So pretty easy script, right? Can be capable of lots of things. Hope that helps.